What's going on, guys? Uh, so last night, the NBA announced the starters for the All-Star Game this year. It's taking place in Cleveland uh, in a couple weeks. And there was a bit of outrage around one of the selections in particular. Um, before I get into that, just really quick, I'll go through the East, which kind of just as expected, we have uh, Joel Embiid, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Kevin Durant, who is the team captain with the, the leading vote-getter, basically. And then in the backcourt, we have Trey Young and DeMar DeRozan, which I think that's pretty much the five that deserve to be there. It's a little surprising, um, even though kind of knew it wasn't going to happen, but to not see you know Kyrie Irving, James Harden, um, even Zach Levine, I think is someone that has a, a case at being snubbed. Um, I don't know if it would have been, you know, an all bulls backcourt if that would have actually happened or if it would have been like Levine takes DeMar's spot, in which case I think DeMar has kind of earned the spot. But, you know, one of the best teams in the East having one of the best seasons, you would have thought maybe multiple players. But as it works out, I think it worked out with the right selections. Um, KD's probably not going to be able to play. He's dealing with that leg injury right now. Um, which is super unfortunate too, because I love seeing Kevin Durant in these all-star games, just playing with that like superior talent. And I mean, we kind of get it now. We got it with him in Golden State. So you kind of get to see that level that he can play at with that type of talent um, and just like how effortless he makes everything look. But it'll be interesting to see who they, um, who they choose to swap in for him. Um, I mean... Off the top of my head, I can't really think of anyone unless it's another bull. Um, but if they have to stick with front court, then then I don't know. I'm not too sure. There's no one that's really like stood out for. Like Sabonis has missed a lot of time. Miles Turner's missed a lot of time. Julius Randle in New York has missed a lot of time. Um, or not missed a lot of time. He's just been terrible this year. <laughs> um, so I don't, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do with that. But uh, on the West... Uh, Western Conference side is where all of the controversy happened and the starters for the West are LeBron James, Nikola Jokic, Steph Curry, first time All-Star Ja Morant, uh, which I think is incredibly deserved that he would make it to be a starter, and then Andrew Wiggins from the Warriors as well is the third front court player. It's his first All-Star appearance, uh, his eighth year in the league. His first full season with the Warriors after they did that trade for D'Angelo Russell, uh, sending him to Minnesota and Wiggins back. And to, I don't want to like just sit here and diminish the accomplishment that this is for Andrew Wiggins, who is someone that like everyone kind of felt like the story was written on him and that it was like, okay, he's got this talent, but he'll never maximize it because he just doesn't have the drive. It was the whole the whole spat when Jimmy Butler was on the Timberwolves where it's like these two Carl Towns and Andrew Wiggins are first overall picks. Their God-given ability is off the charts, but they don't want it like I want it. And that has kind of like hung around both of those guys since then. And so for Wiggins, it was a chance to rehabilitate his image in Golden State in a system that has proven and a role that has made Harrison Barnes a tons of money and... You know, he doesn't, he isn't quite, you know, the Kevin Durant at the three that you, you know, that they had before, but, you know, getting him, he has clearly stepped into and excelled at this role as like the third or fourth option for the team. And, you know, you can't knock him for that. It's incredible that he's, he's earned this opportunity to be an all-star. The issue is he's the third or fourth best player on a team that is not the best team in the league or the West. They've come out to a hot start that no one expected, but the Phoenix Suns, who are the best team in the West by record, don't have any all-star starters. Um, Chris Paul, Devin Booker, and then also Luka Doncic on the Dallas Mavericks. All three of them have pretty strong cases to being all-star starters. Uh, Chris Paul has similar stats to Andrew Wiggins. Booker has better stats when it comes to like scoring, shooting percentage. So maybe if you're going off of a numbers thing, and then Luka Doncic has just, you know, the all-around game of a superstar. So he's got the points, the rebounds, the assists, the, the percentages, the playmaking. Like, all of them have cases. And the reason that it's not going to matter is because of the positions. And, you know, you have to have the two, the two backcourt, the three frontcourt, and it just is, it's archaic. 
You want the five best players in the West and the five best players in the East to be the starters. And you combine the positions with the um, the fan voting percentage of it, which apparently now it's it's coming out that a group of um, of like K-pop fans and supporters rallied behind Andrew Wiggins after an artist was like leading the charge for them. And like, on the one hand, like you can't knock the Warriors for having a large fan base and for getting behind their guys and voting them in. But on the other hand, like if the game is about finding who the most talented players in the league are, it just doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel like that happened. And that's not to diminish the accomplishment that Wiggins has here. This is a huge benchmark for him. This is a huge accomplishment and an achievement. And it does a lot to prove a lot of people wrong that said that, you know, his story was written. But I just find it hard to believe that if you ask the NBA players, the NBA coaches, and other people in the in the league, they would say that Andrew Wiggins, without a doubt, is, you know, is better than Booker, Paul, Luca, even Carl Towns in the front court. If we wanted to go front court argument, Carl Towns deserves consideration for All-Star after the season he's had. I don't know about starter, but at the same time, um, you know, what's, what's to say? Like, there's no, there's no way to determine the achievements. So I'm really happy for Andrew Wiggins. I think it's an unexpected surprise. I think the bummer is I see why the argument is happening that, you know, it's a bad pick or, and like, that's something that he doesn't deserve. That's a stigma that's going to get latched onto him now that he doesn't necessarily deserve and it's just basically the product of a flawed voting system. So who knows what's going to happen. Um, I hope it doesn't become a thing where like he's picked last or he's considered like, oh, he's the worst all-star starter we've had and blah, blah, blah. Like, I hope that this can just be a special thing for him and his family. And I also at the same time hope that this can lead to a discussion within the league where it's like, okay, we need to do something because if the point is getting the stars and the best players on the court, that didn't happen. And we'll see what happens with the reserves. I'm sure that I'll, all those players that I've mentioned will be on the reserve lists. But uh, at the same time, there's always snubs with that too. So I'm, I'm sure it'll be interesting. And then last thing, I said it a little bit, John ja Morant, all-star starter. Mwah, beautiful. I love it. I cannot wait to see him in an all-star game format. He might win Mill Dunk and break a rim or something. He's going to be un- incredible. I cannot wait. That is such an accomplishment. And I'm really happy that he got it. Because uh, it's it's extremely deserved. So that's uh, if you have thoughts on this, on, on who got snubbed or, or what you think about Andrew Wiggins as an all-star starter, please let me know in the comments section. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will be back soon.